Hello, Yasser. Thank you so much for joining the internal communication spotlight series that I run on my blog, Introscope. I've been doing it with thought leaders, and I'm very delighted to have you on my show. So before we get started, uh, it will be great if you can introduce yourself for our viewers. Good day, Anisu. Thank you very much for such opportunity. It is always a pleasure, and it's an honor to be part of your blog and your series about internal communication. My name is Yasser Muhammad, a.k.a. Yasser Zaki. Uh, I'm a chartered PR professional and uh, communication and PR strategist. Uh, I've been working in PR and communication for more than now, around 20 years, more than 20 years. Uh, been engaged in different organizations and uh, as well as associations, whether in, uh, in, in, in MENA, you can say in Europe and MENA. Also, mm -hmm. I've been in touch with those in North America and Asia Pacific. Uh, my expertise in different fields of uh, corporate communications, um, whether internal and external, as well as marketing communication. Also, I've been an advisory, uh, had an advisory role in different international associations like CIPR, uh, PERSA UK, PR, uh, and IABC. Uh, as well as currently in MEPRA. Uh, also, I'm a member of different uh, public relation, communication, and marketing associations like CIPR, PERSA UK, PERSA USA, mm -hmm. uh, I can say Public Relations Society of America, uh, American uh, Marketing Association, uh, MEPRA, Middle East Public Relations Association, European uh, Communication uh, Association and uh, Social Media Club. Fantastic. That's that's in brief. Oh, that's brilliant. So thank you. I mean, that's a very uh, illustrious yeah. career that you've in had. In addition, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a recognized judge in, in Public Relation and Communication uh, uh, Awards. Brilliant, brilliant. So yes, sir, I wanted to ask you on, you know, talk about leadership engagement and employee engagement and in relation to communication. So you have been a strategic global communication leader for many years. So what, according to you, is the role of internal communications? Well, uh, well, being an expert, I don't want, I want to call myself a leader, but being an expert and, and, and whether from, from, from academic perspective or practical perspective, Internal communication role now is very important in, in the modern organizations, uh, especially with the transformation in technology and uh, the world is clutter and also that whether externally or internally. So to ensure that uh, the organ any modern organization work in harmony and the employees are giving their full and to ensure loyalty and engagement and productivity. The main tool to do that is through communicating to them. And here comes the role of internal communication. But internal communication builds your brand internally before it builds it uh, externally. And also creates advocacy and ambassadors for your, your, for your brand, uh, your main uh, touch points and, and ambassadors for your brand is your employees. They are the one who better can position your brand, whatever you do as advertising or messaging or using whatever external tools or media, try to position your brand, show your reputation. Your employees are your shield as well as your arm to, 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 trans to transfer that or to leverage that to the uh, audience, whether this audience um, from the community or the public or on, 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 on the industry, whatever is the industry is your company in, as well as your customer. Uh, your customer don't see the organization, they, they see your employees, they deal with your employees, the community as they attend, the employees is the most important factor uh, in any organization. Got it. Got it. Okay. So if you know, if I were to ask you, you know, you since you've been working, there has been, of course, internal communication has evolved and changed over the years. So, what is the kind of impact that you have witnessed? I mean, what has been the changes and the transformation that you have seen? 
Well, I remember my early days, like early 20, 2000 or even 99. Mm -hmm. There is nothing called internal communication. Uh, okay. It's just uh, how you communicate. It's just uh, you put the, the, the tools, the main initial tools like emails just to deliver the message or information or right. instructions to your employees, not more right. than this. Right. Uh, however, by the time and uh, the modern way of uh, managing organization, uh, mm -hmm. organizations, uh, internal communication started to rise and evolve and to us gradually. But I believe the trigger was behind the reveal of internal communication as a discipline was change mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. When when I think change management, at least on my experience, we'll talk about 15 years ago, when we start to talk about change management and the modern ways of mm -hmm. and the behavioral ways as well to, to operate uh, your organizations and your empl employees and how to perform uh, mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, how to, to achieve that, how to deliver that, how to provide the necessary information, how to follow mm -hmm. up that. And how, uh, that was where uh, the role of internal communication uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. became an important factor. Got it. And then, and then by the time, uh, with the evolution also of of the communication aspect, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and as well as some some crisis, you can say in other uh, in, in in some part of the world, and is even this financial crisis, financial mm -hmm. crisis that occur, I think, some than eight uh, right. uh, employees like the challenging times with the, mm -hmm. the world became more challenging and not relaxing. So at mm -hmm. the end, as I said, your employees are your main asset. So right. how I can reach my employees, how can I push them and how can I educate them? How can I make sure they are aligned with the objectives, the, 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 the vision, the mission, the values, uh, the strategic objective of the organization? How I do that through communicating uh, using different ways, uh, whether that's verbally face to face, meetings right. or 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 by general messages or events and so on right and uh, then start to have more tools to to assist uh, the organization in reaching the employees uh, easier mm -hmm. especially in big organization large organizations there is that technology came and internal social media platforms or internal platforms like intranet uh, that this to more than 20 years ago, there was nothing called intranet or internal right. website. At least I'm going to talk about our region. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about right. other regions, but in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And by the time now there is more tools can help you to reach your employees. And with the easier to, the easier you became to able to reach your employees, the more demanding that you will be mm -hmm. from your employees and expectations. Right. With the challenging time of any organization, so you want to make sure that your employees are aware of what the ma what the management, what the board, what what the stakeholders are are, are looking for, and so on. Mm -hmm. And then also became uh, then we had uh, uh, change money, and we had uh, employees the culture, mm -hmm. the culture uh, disciplines, and and employee engagement and sustainability uh, mm -hmm. and so during the, the last decade again the human factor and present in, in like in in the organization became a priority that mm -hmm. uh, any 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 good organization successful organization can mm -hmm. can can uh, be so uh, by by the best ways of engaging with their employees and right deliver them the, the, what is required in the mm -hmm. in the right way so they can achieve uh, the objectives and goals and 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 be aligned with the expectation got it so yes sir uh, from your experience how does internal communication help you? you mentioned about employee engagement so what is the ways in which internal communication has an impact on employee engagement well at the end 
the human factor in communication is very, very, very important. Sure. Uh, there is some aspects that that can can help you in achieving of what you looking for mm -hmm. while you are communicating or reaching your audience, whether this audience external or internal. Right. Uh, still, the human factor and how would you reach to the audience uh, and your message is delivered in the in the best way that can achieve your return or results that you are looking for. Is is communication through communication, right. whether using strategies or tactics or so on. Mm -hmm. So in the organization, it's I I think whatever we can use in as taxes to engage with customers or engage with stakeholders is the same. It was one of your stakeholders is the employees. Actually, is one of the main stakeholders of any organization it is the employees. So engaging them and find the best way and keep them engaged. Is, is the most important factor, especially in the challenging times, as I said, uh, as well as uh, 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 money also is not a, never been a factor. Mm -hmm. I mean, the top factor of retaining and building good cultures or, right. or, or building a good organizations. Good organizations are known by how the employees are happy. Mm -hmm. You never satisfy anybody. You never, you will never reach 100% satisfaction. Right. And, but how, how the employees are happy, mm -hmm. engaged, loyal, mm -hmm. working in a, in, a, in a good culture, working mm -hmm. or can communicate and exchange uh, their opinions and input and feedbacks with their leadership. Mm -hmm. So, and I can see a lot now, engagement. that's why recently, at least in the last, 10 years, mm -hmm. employee engagement became a very, very important uh, factor in, 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 in uh, and the discipline in, 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 in communication and HR uh, right. for the success of any organization. Got it, got it. And, you know, you've been working with a lot of leaders over your career. So how does, you know, what role does the leadership engagement play with internal communications? Well, it, leadership is the one of the main factors of, of success of any organization. Mm -hmm. That's why we say leaders. We don't say mm -hmm. managers. So we say leaders. So number one is how top management and stakeholders' mm -hmm. expectation are uh, transferred to the leaders, mm -hmm. and and so to the employees. You cannot have a massive. You rely on massive messages. Mm -hmm. informations to all employees so leaders have a very very important role in delivering mm -hmm. the details in right. communicating in details day to day monitoring mm -hmm. uh, 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 developing mm -hmm. uh, ensuring that uh, what the, 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 the company values and, and and mission and objectives are the employees are aligned with it and they work toward it as one team also, the relation between the different departments, it depends right. mainly about the, how the leader, leaders are engaged mm -hmm. with the organization, how they reflect the, the brand to their employees. So leaders is the first, is the brand ambassador to employees. Mm -hmm. So uh, keep making sure that the leaders are engaged and Develop men, develop them in the, the best way so they can make sure that their employees are engaged, whether within the department or the bigger umbrella, or which is the uh, the organization as a whole. So right. they have a very very important factor, and I think there is a lot now of of studies and a lot of uh, programs. And and uh, and study and and, and uh, learnings that mm. make to ensure that uh, to develop leaders in the in the right. best way, the modern way, and to be how to be engaged and keep their employees engaged as well. Got it. Okay, great. And if you were to reflect on what is the biggest challenge uh, facing internal communications in internal communicators today, what would that be? <laughs> well, it's it's like uh, the corporate communication in any organization. However, probably internal communication might be more difficult actually 
mm-hmm. than the other disciplines or the external communication because recognition is very very important mm-hmm. uh, old schools still exist right also how the 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 top management see the importance of internal communication and how it is how to how far it is an important discipline and mm-hmm. it's a science as well it's a, it, it it covers the behavioral aspects it's not only limited to uh, communicating no mm-hmm. you need to understand the employees you need to see how they feel how to reach them the best ways and actually employees differ even your departments differ so you have right. to come up with different way. So technical guys, when you speak to engineers, it's different from speaking to sales people. So it's different right. from speaking to uh, um, any other. So it's, it differs based on their 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 the position in the organization. It's not mm-hmm. about importance. It's not how they can how you can reach them and get them right. engaged. You cannot use this like external. So reaching young young generations different from each from uh, from old people or 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 the region and, and so on so it's the same thing in, in, in inside the organization right recognizing this importance mm-hmm. uh, it's still in some areas some places mm-hmm. is is and some some parts of the world is still 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 uh, a challenge mm-hmm. uh, also we have uh now I think there is now that we have the Institute of Internal Communication, so mm-hmm. it, there is a lot of initiatives now, and to to establish and build this discipline as part or as a vital part of the corporate communication. And I think by the time and and gather all the knowledge under this umbrella and leverage mm-hmm. it to, to to the to the professionals will will make this will help uh, whether current uh, communicators or new. Uh, Coming communicators or young mm-hmm. communicators, how to uh, show and achieve the desired uh, results from 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 for any organization. Mm-hmm. One other one other one of the other also challenges is uh, the partnership with 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 the disciplines that are. Main, main partners in the in the internal communication, which we talk about here, right. HR, <laughs> right. and uh, the the top the leader leadership. Right. So, uh, from communicators' perspective, there might be you always act as a neutral right. part. You can't be. You need to be in the middle. Seek the interest of the employees as well as seek the interest of HR. You have, there's a thin line and you should be the balance right. as a communicator right. for that. Uh, whether if, 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 if the other side is the HR or top management or the talk about employees themselves. Mm-hmm. So that's still, this, this is always a day-to-day challenge and there is always somehow contradictory uh, right. <laughs> aspects uh, for, in this regard. Some right. still some in some organizations still think that internal communication is the HR part, mm-hmm. and right. so that's why some organizations didn't really perform well because you you end up with one-way communications right. just to push and uh, push uh, um, the organization's expectation without uh, and not the vice versa and and listen to the employees their feedback. Encourage right. their, 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 they speak up as well as be engaged and innovative. Got it. Got it. Okay. And what, what according to you is the biggest opportunity you see? Well, so again, uh, I believe from, from my experience now, the, the, the challenges in the world now and from, from business perspective, Mm-hmm. Uh, it 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 came to the, in the favor of internal com- communication and employees mm-hmm. at the same time. And the role of internal communication has rise like three four times since the COVID. Right. I mean, right. the main important discipline in in the organization was communication, right. especially now when 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 the, when the time that. For a long time, the employees became remotely. Some even offices now closed. So how you yeah. can reach? How you can 
work with your team and, and ensure they are performing. It's, it's all about communication. So the role of internal communication now, I think we got a very a great opportunity, especially with the last COVID challenge. Mm. And also it, it, it this this situation created the uh, give give opportunity to communicators for innovation, mm. finding new tools, new uh, new experiences, new ways uh, right. to keep uh, and as well as challenging because now it's right. more challenging that I, I've seen some work and some uh, and some articles and some theories about how to engage your employees remotely. We never mm. had this before. Mm. Uh, so how to keep them engaged is 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 through internal communication. Right. So uh, I I believe internal communication by the time now uh, it gives uh, have a, a lot of uh, new aspects and uh, opportunity to increase the role of it and the important show the importance of it uh, right. in this regards and also from from from. It, it would also the sustainability aspect yeah. and ESG now. There is other disciplines mm -hmm. and other aspects that support and, and, and stress on the importance of people in an organization. Right. And accordingly will end up with the, the need for, for, for the internal communication and, and, and the employees engagement. And here's the, here's the, here, here comes the role of the communicators in this regard. Got it. Brilliant, brilliant. And as we wrap up, yes, I wanted to ask you, you know, from your experience, uh, what is your advice for younger professionals? Because a lot of people want to build their career in this domain. So what advice do you have for them? Well, uh, I've been working more than 20 years, and but I started really to be engaged with with uh, or expand my knowledge beyond my organization or region mm -hmm. or country mm -hmm. by being associated to a, a professional entity. Right. So, um, and I believe in our days, that was not like 10, 10 years or 15 years ago, that was not really easy. But now with the digital transformation and you can, the accessibility of, of information and knowledge and you know, for example, we can have we have some uh, reputed uh, organized uh, associations and institutes for 100 years now or more than 75 mm -hmm. years, but mm -hmm. we got the bit to benefit with them only in the last 10 years, 15 years. Right. And I've, I, I heard about CIPR a very long time, mm -hmm. but I only had the opportunity to, to benefit from it or engage with it and know about it only 10 years ago when the when mm. it was became very easy online to mm. to to yes you can even if you are a member i've been i've been even for a, for some time a member on some association but i couldn't benefit with them, from them because all their activities was physical i cannot travel to uk for example to attend mm. the workshop or something but now with the digital with the digital tools and platforms it's very very easy so right. knowledge is very very important you need to keep uh, the continuous improvement and continuous living. I've been now, in, even in, in, at, at this stage and my age. No, I I do my best on uh, to to keep learning, know mm -hmm. what what the the latest, uh, in, uh, know the latest in 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 the industry and the profession in different from different uh, disciplines or areas. Mm -hmm. And being uh, my, main, my advice also to the young generation students, especially in the MENA region, is uh, get yourself attached to association, especially mm -hmm. those international, so mm -hmm. you can learn and know what the other people do, what the rest of not only limited to the headquarters of this association. No, it's worldwide now. All the associations right. now is became international. So you interact, you engage, you learn, you know, experience, you learn from other people from different uh, from different parts of the world. Mm. So attaching to the, uh, I had a session, I give a, a session one time, is the, 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 about the importance of the public relations associations right. and how they play a, a, an important role in, 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 in de the development of the industry and the profession or, mm. or whoever it has interest uh, with, the, with, the PR, with the PR and communication. Uh, the second thing is, uh, as I said, the continuous learning. 
Mm. Don't limit yourself with your college or specific course. You need to keep yourself up to date, especially the world is very dynamic and our role in the world is very, very important. Right. Uh, you need to know everything, not even limited to your you, you, to the PR or the community. It's also right. about your business. If you right. are in in a 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 banking sector or in a energy sector, you need to um, learn about this because mm-hmm. in order to communicate or to be a communicator, you need to understand what you are communicating, what it's all mm-hmm. about, and uh, try to be certified because getting certification is make it's a good big challenge for you. Mm. So, it, you, uh, and to maintain the certification also right. ensure that it helps you to ensure that your educa- educational journey is ongoing, which is right. the continuous development, uh, professional development right. and having a CBD, that's, that's a very, very important. And last but not least is practice. Mm-hmm. You need to do your best to practice what you learn. Right. Uh, I have a personal, uh, my, per- my personal experience is sometimes, for example, you are a corporate communicator mm-hmm. or you are in communication, you have, you study, you learn, you take courses or here on different aspects, but probably your role is limited, not mm-hmm. covering all the aspects of learning that you have, right. find opportunities to, 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 to practice that. Mm-hmm. For example, go for volunteering roles, uh, be engaged with some associations so you can work in voluntary level, uh, so you can practice the, your, your, your knowledge and your, what you have learned. Uh, mm-hmm. Do community projects and things like this. So I think uh, practicing is very, very important. Uh, otherwise, like any other uh, 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 profession, or any other craft, if you didn't practice, if you didn't even drive for a while, you will forget how to drive. <laughs> so it's right. like any other thing. Yes. Right. Fantastic. Don't get, don't get, don't get rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So thank you so much, Yasser. I think these are great insights and very appreciative of you taking the time to share these words of wisdom. So thank you again for taking the time. You're most welcome. Thank you again, Aniso, for such opportunity. And thanks to the audience, uh, whoever are going to listen to this uh, nice uh chit chat and i wish everybody the best and feel free to reach me anytime fantastic